Okay, thank you very much. My name's Hugh Ricketts. Uh, I must make an apology. I've got a stinking cold, so if you can't understand me, I'm very sorry. If you can, anyone in the room, come up with a cure for the common cold by the end of today. Uh, there is a free nanostring system in it for you, so uh, there's your challenge. Um, I'm just going to talk to you about um, uh, nanostring technology, give you a very quick overview. I promise it'll be probably less than five minutes. Um, nanostring is a, a method for directly digitally counting nucleic acids uh, from any type of sample source. Um, uh, we're a, a novel chemistry that was uh, identified or developed within uh, the Institute of Systems Biology in Seattle. That's where we're still based in the US. We're able to um, look at up to 800 targets uh, multiplexed in a single sample, so highly multiplexed. And as I said, this is a digital counting method uh, uh, looking at uh, biological pathways for either DNA or, or RNA. Uh, range of applications that we have. Um, to be honest, most of our customers are looking at gene expression, so uh, standard gene expression experiments, trying to uh, uh, assay the, uh, the expression of certain targets. Uh, and this, as I said, can be done in up to 800 targets per sample. But we can also look at other, other parameters, so microRNA, uh, fusion genes is a very, very hot topic at the moment for us, and we've got a lot of interest there. Um, copy number variations on the DNA side. Uh, we're also able to look at single cell expression. Uh, and something very, very interesting there in development is also being able to look at uh, proteins. Uh, I, I mentioned that it's only nucleic acid. Well, we've adapted the technology also to look at proteins. This is in, in development. And I think the vision of the company is to be able to look at DNA, RNA, and protein from the same sample. How does this technology work? Uh, well, uh, what we do is we design uh, two oligo probes that are target specific, so they, they would bind to your target in a specific manner. Uh, we look for a 100 base region of your target, so that's single, uh, RNA or single-stranded DNA. Um, and we design these two probes to be specific, so um, 50 bases each. Um, you can see the capture probe um, has a biotin moiety uh, attached to it, and that's in, important for, for hybridization and capturing the, the molecule later on. Uh, the other probe is a reporter probe. This has a, uh, a large barcode attached to this 50, 50 bases um, that are specific to your target. The, the barcode is made up of four, um, er uh, six areas saturated with four different colored dyes, so we can actually produce a, a large number of unique barcodes. We then do a, an overnight hybridization step, uh, which brings in your nucleic acid of interest, and these two probes bind to that uh, to that nucleic acid. We're then able to immobilize um, uh, in the second step here, purify and immobilize that, that molecule onto a, a streptavidin coated bead, uh, sorry, not a bead, a streptavidin coated <laughs> surface, um, and then count the number of barcodes that we can see on that surface using a, a digital analyzer. That process takes two, two to three days, so you have two over. Uh, one overnight step there. Um, so depending on how quick you are, it's two to three days. Uh, one important point to, to mention is that you can, as I said, you can uh, multiplex up to 800 different targets, but it's only actually four pipetting steps per sample. So the amount of hands-on time that you have is very, very small. This is my last, my last slide, actually, so it's very, very brief. Um, just to say that we have a range of different applications where we go from, from very basic research all the way up to we now have a, a globally approved uh, in vitro diagnostic for breast cancer uh, prognostic um, use. Um, uh, I'm somewhere in the middle as well. You can see this, this blue box. This is for um, people who want to produce laboratory developed tests. So we cover a, a huge spectrum of, of, uh, of research and diagnostics. If you'd like to have more information, uh, this is very brief, I know. Uh, we have a stand in the, in the exhibition hall. Please come along and um, hopefully you'll have that cure to that common cold. Thank you.